Well, you had me sold at John Luke Ponty. Uh, I probably butchered his name there. But then I looked it up, and Alan Holdsworth, too? What the fuck? Why didn't we do this sooner? <laughs> Hi, guys. Welcome to Lee Reacts. Hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. We are back with uh, Jean Luc Ponty. I guess that, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, and it's the album Enigmatic Ocean. And we're going to be listening uh, to the track ba -ba -da -ba, Mirage. And it is. What track number is it? Chart position. Isn't that. Isn't that. There it is. It's track three. Uh, there's uh, an, a four part thing on here called Enigmatic Ocean, which I guess is the title track. And it has four parts. And then there's the struggle of the turtle to the sea, parts one through three. See, so yeah, I didn't even know like this existed. So thank you to our patron, Paul E., for sending this in as his other Patreon request for this month. I appreciate you, my friend, and the support I really do. As always, let's go. I want to hear this one. If y'all are not subscribed, just do it. And leave a like and a comment, too, please. It really helps with the algorithms. All right, Mirage by Jean-Luc Ponty. In three, two, one, go. <laughs> Return to Forever and Zap. My man is everywhere. Oh, shit, my bad. 
That was sick. Steve Smith on the drums. Everyone's a gentleman. <laughs> Holdsworth is it's very pensive sounding. All right, this is fucking awesome. Now I gotta hear more from this one too. Fuck. The guitar was excellent in that. Honestly, everything was. So was the vi the viol uh, the violin, the viola, everything he was playing. Yeah, the electric violin, five string electric violin, the violectra. What the fuck is the violectra? Is the name of a range of electric violins, violas, and cellos designed and developed and handmade by David Bruce Johnson, a Canadian violin maker, settled in Birmingham, England. They are played by Nigel Kennedy, Richard Tunk. What? That's crazy. I've never heard of that. Of course, John Luke Ponte would be the one playing that. But that's awesome, man. That was that was crazy. I wish it was longer by like a good three minutes, but I still love that. That was great. Um, so yeah, the first solo was Ponte on the violin. The second one was uh, Zavad on the synthesizer. See, I've never seen that before. I've never seen the solos listed on the Wikipedia credits before. That's interesting. Um, so yeah, Alan Holdsworth on lead electric guitar. Daryl Sturmer on lead and rhythm electric guitar. Alan Zavad on the organ, synthesizer, electric piano. Um, Ralphie Armstrong on the electric fret, uh, electric basses and the fretless bass. And Steve Smith on drums and percussion. Uh, which is, it was, they all kind of, it was like a, the, the sum was greater than the parts almost. Because there was a lot of great little parts all put together that flowed together very well um it kind of showcased everyone's ability really well too like it gave the a solo um to jean luc and then the solo to alan that's his name right yeah alan um so that was cool it sounded good there's a lot of rich texture to the synth sounds and everything this was uh 1977 so yeah Technology was definitely getting there and they say this is jazz fusion i i, I guess you could call that jazz jazz fusion it's a very wide encompassing genre so i don't know it was very good though that was really really good um i have to say I, I think i like the very pensive moody guitar from holdsworth the most in this because i every time i listen to his music man it's he always steals the show for me just that tone and that sound it's so distinct even here it was kind of not you know it's not very similar to the stuff i've heard from him but i, I could tell it was him too so he was doing something different here and i really appreciated that i thought that was really good um Steve Smith on the drums as well was really good. Uh, he had a couple fills in there that were like, oh, shit, you know? And it really paired off well with Ralphie Thompson on the bass. Um, I, he doesn't have a page. He's the only one who doesn't have a Wikipedia page. But he was killing it on the bass there at the parts that I really, you know, heard it strong. And it, it made for a really good rhythm section. But I think my ear was mostly on the guitars on this because they were, uh, Daryl and Alan were going back and forth just so well. It sounded great. And then, of course, John luc on the violin solo there at the beginning. I was, yeah, mind-blowing. That was, like, under five minutes, too. Isn't that, that blows my mind. They can get so much done within, like, a short amount of time. But imagine if that was, like, a nine-minute-long song and they extended it. Because there are some of those sections in this song that could have been full-on songs, but they were just, you know, kind of put together in this. And I liked it. That was really good. Thank you again, Paul, for your support, my friend. Um, it really means the world to me. It really does. And uh, thank you again. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. And if you guys have any other requests by Jean-Luc Ponte or uh, any of the other guys mentioned, I'm down, man. Because I love hearing new stuff like this. Because I, I didn't know this would be called Jazz Fusion. I guess I, would, I thought I would call this like instrumental prog almost. But I don't know. I thought it was really good, though. And uh, that is it out of me, guys. Thanks for watching. If you all know, this Patreon right here. That is a picture of it. There's a link in the description. If you join the $15 tier or up, you get one free request a month. Uh, if you join um, the one tier, there's... All right, hold on. 
So there's five tiers. If you join the album tier, you can get like a concert or an album done. Um, there's the $30 tier. You get two requests under eight minutes um, or one request of any length. And then the $15 tier is one request under eight minutes. And then the other ones just give you access to like the discord. And I, I, I hate redundancy and I've got like three tiers now that really don't have a difference. So I have to figure something out to do with the other tiers. I had an idea for the $10 tier, but then I ended up not having, not having time to do it last month. And, um, it sucks. Cause I have like so many I don't know, like ideas for stuff I want to do on the channel, but, and my life is just fucking hectic right now. Like it really is. Like I didn't even get started till like really late and I'm tired as fuck. I had to watch the kids all day, you know, and I, I feel out of it anyway. So it's just like, uh, one of those days, you know, so it is what it is. Everything's going to be fine. Um, uh, I found out some good news today, so hopefully it all works out. I think it will. I have a feeling it will, but we'll see. Um, the t the clock is ticking now, let's just say. <laughs> uh, but I think that's it out of me, guys. There's also a PayPal or, uh, link in the description. If you want to send a tip or a request in that way, that's the best way to support the channel. So thank you for watching. I will see y'all later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.